Hi guys, welcome back to part two of this series on the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. I kind of messed up the intro there but we're just going to go with it because I don't have time. <laughs> okay, so today we're doing part two, like I said, in the beginner watercolour series. I've got to come up with a catchier name for it. Beginner watercolour showdown. I don't know. <laughs> in part one we took a look at the Art Echo um, watercolour palette and in this episode we or it installment we're going to be looking at the Rosa Studio watercolours they are made in the Ukraine I've heard a lot about these being very similar to White Knights this is the student this is the student grade version of their paints they have another line called Rosa Gallery and that's their artist grade paints there are 24 colours in this set um, it comes in a cardboard sleeve cardboard box um, and a cardboard tray. You have a list of all your colours with the pigment information on the back. I paid £15 for this set from AliExpress and when you open it up you have this sheet overlay thing over the top which is actually a sticker sheet so you could peel this off and stick it somewhere if you wanted to. Um, and this again has all of that all of the information about the pigments, the colours, light vastness, opacity and all of that. Um, then underneath there's a plastic sort of acetate sheet protecting the actual paints and the paints are in this um, plastic tray within the cardboard sleeve. So first things first, first um, initial thoughts is this initial downside to this set that I can see right away is there's no mixing palette. There's nowhere to mix your paints. With the first set we looked at, there was like three tiny little areas to mix paints with, but at least there was something. With this, there is absolutely nothing. You will have to use a separate mixing surface um, in order to mix these paints. However, on the flip side, the good thing about this is these are much larger quantities of paint. They're, these are essentially full pans. They do come out. Uh, the pans are uniquely shaped. They're not like other pans I've seen. They are stamped with the Rosa logo name on the back, on the bottom. And they have these interesting, like, um, what's the word, like cut off corners. Um, but you could easily put these into like just a regular metal palette. Uh, so, you know, you could always get one of these and then get a metal palette and pop these into one of those if you'd like. Um, also, the colours don't run left to right or right to left. They they run up and down through here. So slightly odd. You could always rearrange the colours, but I've left them in the same order that they came in the packaging. And they're in line with the colours on the sheet there. So like last time we're going to be using the Arteza Expert watercolour pad. This is cold press, 140 pound, 300 gsm, 9 by 12 inches in size. There are 32 sheets in a pad and it's um, non-cotton watercolour paper. It's a cellulose paper but it's quite soft surface so it actually behaves quite nicely. It's not my favourite cellulose paper but it's not the worst either. So this is what we're going to use for all of them to keep things comparable. The one thing I did this time instead was I really went in and wrote in all the um, names and pigment information. And we're going to do the same thing in terms of colour mixes, dispersion, colour mixing here, trying to mix neutrals and seeing what we can come up with. And then um, I'm going to film all of this sped up and uh, set to music and then we'll come back at the end and we'll have a chat a bit about some of the pros, the cons, uh, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about the set and whether I think it's worth your money. One thing I will say before I do that is I did have a quick look online, again, based here in the UK. I wasn't able to find this set on Amazon or any other site. I was only able to find the student set on AliExpress. So there'll only be one link for this one. However, if you are in a different country, feel free to Google around, check out um, your own local art shops or online shops that you buy from and see if they stock this one if you're interested in the student range. Their artist grade watercolour set, the um, Rosa Gallery, is um, sort of on par with the White Knights watercolours in terms of price. So um, if those are easier for you to find than White Knights in where you are then 
you can always check out the artist quality line so um, that's something else to bear in mind <laughs> So we're back, they are mostly dry, there's still a couple of wet, wet swatches there, but um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm running out of time today so I want to get, get this done. So quickly I'm going to run through the colours and the pigments. We have Lemon PY3, Yellow Light PY1, Yellow Medium PY74, PY83, Orange PO13, Red Light PR2 and PR4, Deep Red PR170, Madder PR144, and um, PR63 colon 1, sorry couldn't read my own writing, Carmine PR57 colon 1, Violet Light PB29 PR122, Violet Deep PV3, Green Light PG7 PY74, Green PG8, Emerald PG7, Turquoise PG7, PB15 colon 3, Blue Light PB15 colon 3, Ultramarine PB29, Blue PB15 colon 1, Yellow Ochre PY42, English Red PR101, Raw Sienna PY42 PBR6, Burnt Sienna PR101 PBR6 PY42, Raw Umber PBR6 PBK7 and PY42, Sepia PR101, PBK7, PY42, and Lamp Black, PBK7, PB15, colon 1. Um, ignore that on the yellow ochre, it's just some bubbles. <laughs> so, first things first, I wanted to actually note, I um, forgot to mention this at the beginning, they're poured pans, not extruded pans, so the, the wet paint has been poured into the pans and then they've dried out in the pans, um, rather than in some of the other sets we're going to look at that they're like little uh, blocks that have been put into the half pans um, and not poured into the pan if that makes sense so because of that because they've been poured in and as they dry down some I mean in this set in fairness they are pretty evenly full there's a couple of pans which look like they have maybe a slightly less paint in them than others but it's very minimal otherwise they all look very evenly full um, 
It's a really nice colour range, really vibrant, um, really well pigmented. Vibrancy is there, the colour richness is there. Um, some of the pigments do spread quite nicely over time. They don't have that initial massive burst, but over time as the water dries, it does spread out quite nicely. Even the yellow has some nice dispersion, although it's like slightly lighter, if you can see that there. Um, the green and the purple, quite nice. With our colour mixes, we have some really nice clean colour mixes. Got a nice muted green with the warm yellow and warm blue. Nice orange with the warm yellow, red, uh, warm red. And a very nice muted purple between the warm red and warm blue. And then with the cool colours, again, you get really nice vibrant mixes there as well. Um, and down here, so this is yellow medium and... Um, blue which is pb15 colon one and that's actually phthalo blue red shade so it's a warmer blue um so that's those lovely green mixes really natural sort of greens um and then over here i did carmine with ultramarine blue because again a cool red and a warm blue is the best combination to get a nice violet color so you get a really nice range of purples there and then here we have carmine and um, emerald which is phthalo green pg7 and again you get some really nice muted darks here in the middle uh, like it's almost like a really dark purple and then we have ultramarine and burnt sienna and again here you can see we do get some nice grays in there and then we have yellow me yellow light and dioxazine so violet deep yellow light and violet deep and again you get some really nice browns in there as well and I mentioned in the last video that purple and yellow whilst they are complementary because yellow is generally a weaker colour when mixing you're never going to get like a proper black colour you'll tend to get browns rather than greys or blacks when you mix those um, looking at this set you have 24 colours 13 of them are single pigment colours 8 are double pigment and 3 are triple pigmented there is a black, but there is no white in this set, which I like. Um, I think that's a good thing for a beginner set. As I mentioned, I talked a bit about why I don't think white is great in a beginner set in my last, in the first video of this series. So if you want to um, hear my thoughts on that, you can um, watch that video. Otherwise, um, I think the biggest drawback with this set is the fact that there's no mixing space. It just comes in this cardboard tray, so it's a little bit... Um, cheap looking I guess but for the price and like I said I paid £15 for this on AliExpress which that's including shipping and everything so I think it's actually pretty good value for money I definitely think it's worth the money and if you're okay with waiting for like the shipping times and stuff then it's definitely a set worth getting um, it's a great beginner set you can do some really beautiful colour mixes the the paints are really pigmented you get full pans so you get a lot of paint you get uh, according to the packaging two and a half milliliters of paint per color and it will last you a long time because of how pigmented they are there is some issue there's some interesting issues with their naming so blue light as they call it is actually phthalo blue green shade blue is just phthalo blue red shade um their burnt sienna is, in, is a weird mix of colours. There's three pigments. You don't really need three pigments to make a burnt sienna. Um, so I'm not sure about that. They definitely have some colours that are more opaque than others. There's also some issues with some of their light fastness. So violet deep uh, or and orange have been marked as only one star light fastness, which is like the worst rating. Um, and then Carmine, Madder, Red Deep, Red Light, Yellow Medium, Lemon, Violet Light, a lot of the colours, Yellow Ochre, have only been given two stars. Green Light as well. have only been given two stars for Light Fastness, which is fair, it's like okay-ish. And then the rest are three stars, so High Light Fastness. Um, I, like I said, I think this set is great for beginners. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for professional artists or someone who's planning on selling their work. Um, it's great for like sketchbooks, 
for um and for practice pieces and stuff that's not necessarily going to hang on a wall in direct sunlight uh, because some of these colors will fade that violet deep as beautiful as that color is will fade um some of these reds will fade as well and so you know you're going to bear that in mind however for the price i think this is really good value for money i think it's a great sort of like step up if you've only ever played with those like children's sets and you want something a little bit more high quality um it's not a bad step up if you do have a little bit more money to spend then you can get um their artist grade range uh rosa gallery and you can get the, those sets for fairly affordable as well more expensive than this which was 15 pounds but i think you can get sets of those for around 30 pounds or something so still not extremely expensive um, but if you wanted something that was artist quality that was going to have less light fastness issues then that would be a good set to look at getting and i will try and link some of the rosa gallery um sets if i can find any online to link down to link for you down below um so yeah that's my thoughts on this set i i think it's great really pigmented and um I would recommend for someone who's a beginner who's planning on using these mostly for practice pieces for sketchbook work and things like that the only downside the biggest downside with this is the fact that there's no mixing space so you will need like a separate mixing area um either like a ceramic palette or a plate or something to mix on um or you can get a metal tin and just transfer your paints into the tin other than that i think um yeah i think that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this little review um let me know if you found this useful have you tried these watercolors before have you tried the artist quality ones before what do you think about them if you have and um and yeah let me know if this is something that you would be interested in all right take care for now and i'll see you in the next one bye